like that you just threw in a little drink. <laughs> you have to, man. We got to give him a little shout. Like, I'm, I'm still a drink fan at the end of the day, man. Like, I, I still fuck with drink. Welcome back to another episode of Distracted. We are your hosts. I'm Gugs. He is Jeg, aka Santos. And there's only one thing to talk about right now. On Friday, November 22nd, everybody stopped what they're doing. Why? Because Kendrick Lamar did a surprise drop. Brand new album, GNX. Damn. Kendrick just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. <laughs> like That's literally the, the first thought that came to my head when I was thinking about this guy dropping, man. Man, but you got to admit, though, like that was... That was so unexpected. Like, everybody, like, all of a sudden, my phone just blew up. Everyone's talking about, like, Kendrick drop, Kendrick drop. Like, what, a single? No one, an album. Like, yeah, this guy, this guy sent me the, the, the album, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, no way. Like, especially because, like, last week, we were just talking about how, like, Kendrick hasn't released an album, and he got Grammy, or sorry, uh, Gr- of course, he got nominated for a shitload of Grammys, but he got Rapper of the Year for 2024. So, Next thing you know, it's like he heard us and he's like, yo, fuck y'all. I'm going to drop the album. I'm going to show you what's up. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. And yeah, so so what, like, I know what I was doing. I was just sitting on my phone and I was like, what, an album? I messaged you right away. Yeah. Like, uh, like walk me through. Like, wait, you, did you give it a full listen? Like, what did you do? I, so I kept putting it off for a long time because I was like, I need to, like, this is not just some, like, regular drop. You know what I mean? Like, this is Kendrick, long awaited, after the Drake beef. Um, this is, like, it. Like, this is your one shot. We've said in pa- previous episodes as well, like, you got one chance to really hit home with this one. And so I was like, I can't do this choppy shit where I'm just, like, sitting there, give one song a listen, stop, half a song. Like, no, I was like, I gotta have a proper listen. So he was messaging me like, yo, this song, Nas, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I need to hear, but I couldn't. I couldn't listen to it. So I held off and I held off and I kept seeing shit on, online, like the memes and, and the IG. And like, so I just, I was in a little bit of a panic because I needed to hear it. Uh, so, I, but, I, but I eventually, later, later on in the day, finally got around to it. Um, I mean, I don't even need to know what you were doing because i like right when i dropped this guy verbatim like you know how you call like a football game or something like a announce like a, a play by commentary. play <laughs> yeah this guy was just like you know like this is going on oh my god wow this song is fucking crazy this that and i'm just like i was, I was it, losing man. it he was losing it man i he was, I was uh it uh, it was actually perfect timing i had to go somewhere i had to take a really long drive so i was like oh like couldn't ask for a better situation yeah that is I a just, perfect time yeah uninterrupted like you know i i just put the album on man like you want to just get right into yeah, it let's get into it man i man. mean it's uh it's probably the biggest drop of the year i would say oh yeah other yeah, yeah. than the beef that came out like this is the biggest thing since then yeah like like i said it was a, it was a big moment right it was it was one of those moments where there's a few albums i can think of and I mean, I won't bring him up. I don't want to take away from it. But there's a few albums I can think of in like recent memory where I remember exactly what I was doing, where I was when yeah. I heard him. I thought like this was one of those for me. So man, like hitting play and hearing whacked out murals at first. Oh, oh my god, whacked out murals. Like it, it, it sort of set that tone where I'm just like, yes. What am I in for? Is this gonna be that cutthroat Kenny, or is this gonna be just like that? You know, like that chill, like deep introspective, like you know that that really cool mellow guy like i I didn't know what to expect but when i heard that i was like oh yeah because it starts out kind of like dark and then man once the drum hit and it just got it got when you really listen to what he's talking about like as soon as you hear him drop lil wayne's name you're like oh what what? like he's a he's a (laughs) drum baby like what about like a minute in it's that was uh i'm surprised that, you know what? That's not even like all of them. Like, this guy really did not give a fuck on this album. Yeah. He like he didn't care who you are, the relationship you have with him, how much respect he's shown you in the past. Like he does not care. This man, I think that the most the, the most dangerous person in the world is the one that does not give a fuck about anyone or anything, no matter what kind of relationship you have. And like, he repeated that on the songs, right? Saying yeah. that 
He doesn't give a fuck about anybody. It's just him, and that's why he stays to himself. Just, just big me. Yeah, and he, he can, he's showing it. He's just big me. Fuck the big three, you know. Man, and th- let, let's get into some of that stuff because because the people he's addressing, he's yeah. addressing why he can't trust anybody anymore. Yeah. So I, the first disc that came to my mind was he took some subliminals at Drake. Oh yeah, that, um, I mean that had to happen. But you know what? I will praise him for not making this album based on a lot of drake beef yes i give him that because it's like man i the last thing i wanted was to hear a bunch of shit about drake the whole album every song some kind of shot you know what i mean like this was really like hey let me throw a line to at you give you throw some shade at you and let's move on yeah. i don't care i'm unbothered by this shit you can tell he's hurt by some of the shit that's happened in, in this past year though oh yeah think about it, man. like like all this stuff it just kind of took over everything right it's like mainstream media it took over the whole rap game it took over his life i'm sure yeah. it did right like, and i think that's he, all everyone's talking about a lot of bridges got burnt i think a lot of friendships of his probably decimated after this because i don't think he was expecting this um so let's start it so the first line uh for for drake uh we assume that was for drake i mean who else could it be um on whacked out murals <coughs> was uh uh, certain people from my city couldn't entertain old boy promising bank transactions and even Bitcoin. I never pieced it up. That shit don't sell w- sit well with me. Um, and yeah, yeah. I mean, he said he's taking him to hell with me. And I mean that because that just goes to show. Like, remember everyone was talking about Drake was looking for dirt on Kendrick. Yeah. He was offering people money in the streets. So, I I think it probably irks Drake too that that, that uh, he didn't dig deeper in on it. That he just quickly, like, you know, that's all I got, man. Like, after everything, that's yeah. all you're giving me is just one line. And even the line is pretty much saying, like, I don't really care about you, dog. Like, nobody it does. Ca- it kind of makes Drake look a little whack in a way, too. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that shook me, okay, the one that caught me off guard. I don't know if you have it written down, but I got it written down here. Do you want me to? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, the one that caught me off guard was uh, the Lil Wayne shot. Like, oh, yeah. man. Uh, used to bump the Carter 3. I held my rolly chain proud. Irony. I think my hard work let Lil Wayne down. Oh, man. And like. That was wild. That, that as was soon wild. as I heard that, my eyes were just like lit like, up. I don't hear people dissing Wayne. Nobody I never makes, hear people dissing Wayne. Like, Wayne's just Wayne. He's just. But like, it's, it's not really a diss. But like, it's something. But even just to address it. It's something. It's something irked him about Wayne. Really it's crazy weird. that he put that spin on it because honestly, I never even thought about that. Everyone. All everyone's talking about, like, you name it. Everyone's saying Lil Wayne got robbed of the Super Bowl. Lil Wayne should be performing. Lil Wayne should be doing this, that. And, like, how many people really sat there and said, oh, Kendrick got it. Kendrick deserves it. Let's see what Kendrick does with it, right? Yeah. But Wayne replies. Yeah. And uh, Wayne actually tweeted back. Wayne's reply was a little bit, uh, it was a little bit, uh, I don't know. It, it's sort of on the edge. It teetered a little bit, you know, like, where is he going to go with this? But Wayne said, I just be chilling and they still come from my head. Let's not take kindness for weakness. Let this giant sleep. I beg you all. He continued in his pose. No one really wants destruction. This is the part that gets me. No one really wants destruction. Not even me, but I shall destroy if I'm disturbed on me love like ooh you don't want to have it with Wayne man I don't know man no one uh, that's crazy it's, but, but could you imagine Wayne and Kendrick I I can't I don't even I don't want to live in a world where Wayne and Kendrick be yeah honestly I don't want to see it I'm either. not here uh, for yeah. that Drake and Kendrick fine Wayne I don't want to see I don't want to be in a world where anyone beefs with Wayne man like, they I'm shouldn't just, even they shouldn't have beef but it's just it's crazy that it's like it's even getting this close because I think it's, it's a Super Bowl snub when, when Kendrick first dropped his mixtape like like way way back when he first started rapping he called the C4 because yeah. he was such a big Wayne fan at that time Wayne dropped Carter 3 like you mentioned so Wayne dropped C4 yeah. he was such a big Wayne fan right and like who wasn't at that time everybody was yeah for sure um, I mean yeah I don't I don't want to be there for Wayne and him yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see that, man. But can you imagine? Let's just hypothetically, let's say they get into it. Ooh. If Kendrick, if Kendrick took down Drake and Wayne, oh my God! I like, feel what, like what is? How do you remember Cash Money after that? I feel like Kendrick and Wayne would be uh, Tyson and Jake Paul. 
Like Kendrick is young. He's still not in the sense of like, like scripted or any of that, all that bullshit. That's a whole nother story. But uh, just Wayne's in that air, like that age where it's just like, just let him be, man. Like he's done enough. He doesn't need no beef anymore. Like he's good. He's he's, he's had his shit. I you know? I, I I don't think anybody wants to see him go at it just because like the respect thing. But I just hope maybe this will kind of motivate Wayne to really start going hard and get back into music again. I don't think Wayne cares though. I don't. But yeah. you know what? Wayne's features in the Corday album were sick. I don't know if you listen to those. Yeah, yeah, those are crazy. So I don't know. Wayne's still there, but I think Wayne is like how we said the Young Thug uh, thing back in the day, where it's just like a couple of features here and there. But he doesn't care to like really dig deep. Um, but yeah, no. I, I hope that doesn't escalate. He also took a shot of Snoop. Yeah, Uncle Snoop. You know what I mean? So uh, he goes. Taylor made I prayed it was the edibles. I couldn't believe it. It was only right for me to let it go. Um, pretty much saying that Snoop posted that uh, the AI diss uh, that Drake threw out there. Yeah, that was the only thing I prayed it was the edibles. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Snoop, but then Snoop respi- replied, and he was like, "It was the edibles." <laughs> <laughs> West West King. Like I feel like that Snoop. Like no dirt off his shoulder type shit. Like he doesn't give a fuck. Like it was just like yeah. Hey, he's just like man, whatever. I made a mistake. It is what it is, right? That's <laughs> yeah. I like mean, he, that's kind of cool. Snoop is just like he's not gonna hold a grudge. He's just gonna let it thing. go. Can we be cool? I guess that's like his apology, right? Yeah. I'm but, surprised Kendrick even name dropped him like that. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. I was shocked. I'm I was surprised. Like, he, yeah. Because they were. I mean, they just did the Super Bowl before, and they're both from the West, and and but this this is I didn't a, see that. I mean. I don't want to get into too much other shit and get too distracted, but remember when Snoop, Snoop's sitting right there. Oh, um, Snoop on Snoop. Oh, shit. But, uh, <laughs> Uncle Snoop. I got my Christmas decor up. Yeah. Got Snoop on his stoop. Snoop on, but, that's uh, this brilliant thing that he did. On yeah, the yeah. <laughs> Snoop's a man. But yeah, remember when the whole Pac beef with like the Pac and Biggie beef, yeah, Pac yeah, was yeah. mad at Snoop because of the whole thing, but I don't want to get on that. People always accusing Snoop of playing both sides. So well, uh, he sort of does. I mean, that's that could be a deep dive one day. But Snoop is a little, a little tricky like that. Like he, he does. I personally think he plays. He he wants to be the people's favorite. He's but, always trying to be that yeah, guy. You know. But like, but in the same vein, I hope it's just like, man, they piece it out. They're like, hey, man, it is what it is. Let's be cool. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he also Kendrick also takes some shots at uh, Andrew Schultz, uh, the comedian. And uh, don't let no white comedian talk about no black women. That's law. Um, I don't think there's much to say about that. Kendrick sticking up, uh, you know, for what he thinks is right and what he thinks is wrong. That's that's just Andrew Schultz shouldn't really even be in this conversation. Yeah, I know like, that that's kind of. It's just one of those things I had to say because it's like it's a diss, but I, know. I, I, I think guess it's like, whatever. Kendrick can give him a warning shot. Like, yeah, like yo, listen, stay in your lane, dog. Like don't 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 shift lanes. Um, uh, is there any other ones that maybe I missed or uh this was you know you know what it made me think of though like if Kendrick's upset with Snoop yeah. over that obviously it bothered him it, it affected him game was one of his idols Ooh. yeah so knowing that game he he reposted Drake stuff too right and like he was oh, playing he was like family matters Drake. or something yeah, yeah like everybody was... basically just saying yeah game was team Drake so you gotta imagine that no matter how much games trying to downplay it after that yeah. Kendrick feels a way about it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because, uh, but the game, I don't know, man, in the, in the present years, he sort of, he, he play he switches a lot of sides too. He's sort of that guy that people don't take as serious. I think he ruined his own legacy, to be honest. Mm. I think game sort of, he, he does a lot of bullshit on the side. It's a lot of side missions that he doesn't need to be doing. I don't want to gain game right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked. The, the, distracted, right? I, I, you start you start going off on a tangent. I, I, li- I like game. I don't want to say. I like game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge game fan, but I feel like he just. You're right. Let's just leave. Let's, let's, let's save for another time. Yes, yes, yes. Um, did he take any shots at J Cole, or was there anything? I I don't know. Like you can kind of interpret it that but no, way, but I don't know direct. if it's a reach. Not. I wouldn't say direct. I mean, he get, he said he said the only person that congratulated him on the Super Bowl was Nas. I mean, maybe if you want to interpolate that in the way that hey, J Cole did did the whole let Nas down thing, and he's saying I don't yeah. know, maybe a reach, but anyways, so, 
Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. You know, I was just gonna say, yeah. So it seems like he got some shots off and got some stuff off his chest. Um, and that's like all on the intro, man. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he didn't. But that, I like that because I like I said before, I didn't want a whole album full of just shots yeah, and yeah. bullshit. I wanted to like Kendrick dropped. Let's hear his artistry. Our it's, artist. It's dope because like he's just venting. He just gets it off his yeah. chest and then he gets right into it though. Exactly. Like man, squabble up. Ooh, fire oh people were fire. waiting for that song i was waiting Man, for that like, yeah. i saw people on tiktok I, yeah the bro- the broccoli snippet that yeah, squabble yeah. up but even on tiktok like i saw good people doing dances and they're like we're gonna keep yeah. doing a dance every, every day, day until i they- see that yeah, too yeah, yeah, that, right? yeah, yeah i was like oh man like people like and that song did not disappoint yeah it was so you know good I mean? so good that that song came for it. like i liked it that was um, lit that can't set the tone like the whole album has that really west coast feel same type heavily of heavily like, west coast influence. Yeah, yeah and i think but you know what though i think a lot of not a lot i won't say a lot but i think some listeners out there didn't appreciate the west coastness to it i think we're on the west coast so i think we appreciate yeah. that side but there's a lot that i saw like even on tiktok or ig like making reviews and they're like oh man we don't we can't vibe with this but because the end of the day it's a pretty heavily west side west coast yeah. vibe you know but that's like, Kendrick keeping it real he even says on the album he doesn't change up right so yeah but it, it's crazy how effortlessly he switches from like hard like going in rapping going hard west coast bop to luther so i it's funny because uh Kendrick said to Drake i like drake with the melodies I personally like Kendrick with the melodies as well, man. Like I like Kendrick when he's in that bag of just like that smooth shit where you can put it on, cruise to it, like that vibe. You know what I mean? Like that, um, that just like old school West Coast vibe. Like I fuck with that. Um, that was a good song though. Luther was a good song. Uh, you know, at that point, let me just ask you: What was your favorite song, and what was your least favorite song? Since we're already on the topic of songs, um, I think my. That- my favorite song is still coming up. I'll save it. And you know what? I'll, I'll tell you as we go through. Okay. But uh, why don't you tell me? I personally think that the heart part six, and I think it has to do more with the melodic side. I like the the samples. I like, I've always been into that, like that vibe, the, the whole sample, like 80, 70 songs, chill, kickback, like Dom Kennedy type shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That kind of um so i like the hard part six but you know what in this album i can't even say it like i can't uh that uh song the tv song uh tv off yeah, the yeah. tv off like when i hear it i'm I, like i, oh, I want to get into that but i just want to go through a couple more songs and then get to yeah, it. yeah 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 so, no, that's fine i get ahead of, i got distracted easily on this pod man yeah. I, like the, the next highlight after luther to me was like man at the garden because oh man after like so he shouts out Nas in the in the opening track right yeah. and then he comes and he samples one mic which for which me is, is like crazy again like i'm driving around and i i picked up on the sample i'm like oh shit like one mic's my favorite Nas yeah, song like, it's a dope i song. love that you know song. i actually didn't pick up on it in the start oh yeah like, when i was listening i was like this sounds so familiar why can't i then like Halfway through the song, I'm like, oh, shit. I think I even messaged you. I was like, yo, no, it's one mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so that was, a, that was a sick, like, just a dope song. Yeah, man. And that I like that. that. Very unexpected. I did not expect. I it was really dope. I can't recall he, the last he, time somebody the thing used is one when, mic. And when he samples some legendary shit, like, especially, like, one mic. And, and actually, even, so the next highlight for me. Which is my favorite song, Reincarnated. Oh yeah, you were heavily. Like, I man, once I heard that, shook. you were game shook. over. I was like, oh my god! Like for me to hear one mic, and then that sample uh, that he used on Reincarnated. Oh my god! Well, not even just a sample. I lost it. The one thing I picked up on is like he even sort of rap like Pac on that song. He, exactly. Like, that yeah. Flow, like it wasn't yeah. even just a sample. Like a lot of rappers will just put their own style on that beat. But he, I halfway through, I'm like, yo, this sounds like I could hear Pop doing this. Yeah, like, and that—that's what I was gonna say. Is like my, what I really appreciate is like he does he does it justice when he he raps on one mic, he does it justice when he goes over. I can't say this <laughs> made <laughs> Edward yeah. made, made figures. I yeah, guess, yeah, right? yeah. That's the, that was made the censored men, version, whatever you right? Call it. So, man, that. Nah, he went in. Yeah. And like the concept of the song was so good too. Cause like he's literally rapping about be- being reincarnated the whole song. Like yeah. he comes up from, from here and from 
man, like if you really listen to it, it's dope. And then he, by the end of it, he gets into like he's having a conversation with God back and yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah. And then he's talking about he's like, I'm trying to make peace. And then God's like to him, he's like, You love war. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, it's it's crazy, man. What a what a crazy concept. And like he did it justice, man. Yeah. And then after that, I think, which is probably my favorite moment on the whole album, was TV off. Oh yeah. TV the, with the beat the Mustard. Yeah, that's like that's so lit. So he, lit. <laughs> Mustard, this fucking guy, he his own album doesn't do great. But anytime he's with Kendrick, like directly with a you know, on a song, he's viral all over again. Like I I'm seeing fucking videos right now of somebody bringing out like a hot dog <laughs> and no yeah, mustard. Yeah, yeah, was doing the mustard. And somebody thing, goes yeah. like mustard. Like it's just like the opportunities that that one yeah. word it sort of goes back to like how we play that game the one note game this guy's like, getting a lot of promo right? off Kendrick exactly a lot. Like, it's like the one note game you hear the one note and you know the song right now it's like you hear the word mustard and everybody's like oh Kendrick uh, you know, right, KBO, right. like you just know like, I, I was losing I'm driving I'm messaging this guy at the same time I'm like this is the hardest do not, do not text and drive the hardest <laughs> mustard drop beat drop of of all time like this is I won't say the all time. I, I was losing. I was I, like, this is so fire. Oh to my tell God. you the truth, and, and I know I'm probably going to get some flack for this. Um, <clears throat> I thought Not Like Us was better. The beat wise and shit. Oh, well, yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't, like, it was a good song, but it's not, it doesn't even stick out as one of my favorites on the album. I'm sort of like, yeah, it's cool. If I hear it, yes, I like it, but. TV off, you don't yeah, like it? I like it. Even even the beginning of TV off, like the first half of it, I thought that's dope too. I, I know, but I it didn't like I said, I like the song, but it's not like, oh shit, like like I DeMar DeRozan, they asked him uh what's his favorite song on the album. And he's like, Oh, TV off, hands down. This is one of my like and I just I can't I can't get there with that song. I don't know why. Oh, like it just doesn't I like it. I think it's a great club banger, like one of those kind of things. But on a personal, like I don't I don't know. It's a good. It's like it's a crazy song. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I like hard part six a lot too. Yeah, but okay. again, I I think we are very different in our music taste. Like I love that melodic, super chill shit. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah like the super, Like yo, turn up. Like yeah, yeah. Well, that's the hardest bar right there. Like I, and, and which works, right? So it's it's a great song though. And I I know you said you like hard part six. I liked it a lot too. I like the story that he told on it. Yeah, because it's I'm, all a, I'm a big yeah, I'm a big black hippie fan. Like. So everything he's talking about, I'm like, oh damn, I was there for this. I remember yeah. this. <laughs> like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. like growing up being a big fan of all that stuff. Yeah. And man, I honestly I I can't say I dislike any song on the album. Like all the flows were like, infectious. Like everything <coughs> he did and You know, so I will say the first listen I had, I wasn't crazy about some of the really hardcore West Coast songs. Um But now I'm starting to grow to like them a bit more. Um, it took me a bit, but I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely getting there. Um, so, but for now, if you were to rank the songs, I would probably be like one of those more West Coast songs, um, Peekaboo or something like that. Like, it's a good song, but it's not my, it's more towards the bottom of the list for me. I get it compared to the other things, but even that, what they talk about, the top on nothing, like it just, even that is catchy. Like everything he does, I feel like it fits. Like as yeah. a whole project, Overall, it, it yeah. just fits. Man. I, I did pick up on one thing. He does like a heart, like a banger, and then he'll follow it with like a really soft sort of melody. And then like, it's not like, it's, it's not too much, um, like too many slow songs for a bit and then a bunch of rowdy like it's a back and forth so it's like your mood is like a roller coaster you're up and then you're down and then you're like oh shit this next song it, it's dope how he goes in and out of like he can go like slow it down turn up go r&b sing a little bit like that's that, what I mean, yeah that i think is really underrated like he's so good at that yeah and the features they weren't really a lot of West Coast underground rappers that are still on the way up. Lefty yeah, Gunplay. yeah. Um, uh, there's a few other guys. I, so Roddy Rich is on the album, and I didn't really. Check I didn't up notice on where that at all. I think I got to re-listen again. Like I just. It's on Dodger Blue, right? Yeah. It's I think those... I kind of heard it when I knew to listen for him, but like on first listen, I didn't. I think the know. thing with this, like a Kendrick album, is when it drops, you don't really care about features and shit as much first. Yeah, yeah. You're more listening to like, he is he dissing? Features. Is there a bar? The overall song? And then when you go back and listen a couple times, like, okay, now let's listen out for what stuck out to me. One, one thing I was waiting for, everyone was saying the Taylor Swift yeah, feature was, was supposed no to be Taylor there. Swift, there was no Taylor but Swift But there was some feature. SZA. 
Yeah, and Sizzle. actually, man, every time him and SZA get on a song together, it's dope, man. Yeah, I was they gonna work say, so good even from together. the Black Panther, like till now, like yeah, all the stars yeah. and all that shit, like they have solid chemistry. Some people are saying that, uh, and I don't know, this might be a stretch, but that uh, SZA is sort of taking shots at Drake by saying like she picked a side because she oh. has two songs with them on the album. And it's sort of like, you know, uh, but then she also made that other song with him on his uh, song. Yeah. Uh, right? Well, so, I think if she had to, she would take Kendrick's side, Kendrick's but I don't side? even think, I yeah. don't think it matters really. Yeah. I want to ask you something though. Okay. You know, in a, in a world where with track lists, if you drop a song and it's doing numbers, you're going to put it on your album. Did you notice Not Like Us? He could have put that yeah, on there and that it would have ran the numbers up so, and he chose not to do that. Talking about running numbers. He's already um, like right when the album dropped, he took up the twelve spots on Spotify, the top twelve top spots on Spotify and Apple simultaneously. Wow. Like so, and that's without not like us actually. That's, that's exactly. I didn't yeah, even yeah. think of that. Yeah, that's that's crazy. He could have easily just went like platinum instantly if he just yeah. put not like us on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's crazy. I didn't even think. Holy but, shit! I guess that also just goes to show the whole album isesn't just based on the beef only. Yeah, right. no, that, that that exactly. It takes us back to our original point where it's yeah. just. Um, I have a question for you. Where would you say this album ranks now uh, with the rest of Kendrick albums? Ooh, I, I'll put it up there for like me. You, do you think I mean, maybe a, I'm still just riding the high because like I just heard it, just going through it. Yeah. But man, I I I think I could say maybe top three for maybe. Yeah. Damn, top three. I th- I Actually, we'll, top three, I could say. What would yeah. what would be the other two that you think? You'd um, there? Good Kid, Mad City, yeah, of Damn. Course, that's a classic. Damn. Right? I'm on the same. I was gonna say the exact same ones. Um, I want to so, give it some time. Maybe I'll put it higher, but I want to like sit on it and listen to it a little gonna, bit more. Yeah, it's gonna marinate. It has to marinate yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, it's crazy because he dropped it right at the end of 2024, so it's sort of like that awkward. What did Tyler, the creator, do now? Like they yeah, have Promocopia. Yeah. Corday, like we we knew he was never really gonna get album of the year, even though it should be a contender. But I mean, personally, I think it goes back to Kendrick just opened his mouth. Somebody give him a Grammy right now. Like I think just by default, people are just gonna be like, oh, Kenny dropped, you know, Kung Fu Kenny, just give him the album of the year. Like I think it's I think it's just gonna go in that direction, knowing. But as a, as a whole, it is pretty dope that you mentioned Chromacopia, but Schoolboy Q dropped earlier. Yeah. Earlier this year, Ab Soul drop, Snoop and Dre are gonna drop. It's like the West Coast back. Yeah, West Coast. I'm proud of that though. East Coast had a chokehold for a while there, man, and it's good to see. I wouldn't even say East Coast. It's probably just South. Even Atlanta, South. Yeah, yeah South it's, it's the South. I, I went back to like the fucking the Snoop, <laughs> and Snoop Pac in those days, man. Um, but I do appreciate the Pac sample. I think that's that was a very that was a very good thing. Um, and that brings us to the next question, man. Like, what the industry? Like, where does it leave the rest of them? What does Drake do? Like, where does everybody go from here now? I wanna, I wanna know too because, you know, Drake's last album wasn't really critically acclaimed. So let's, let, I, I enjoyed it, but I mean, I want to see where he goes because, what's the reaction gonna be? What's he gonna address? What direction is he gonna go? Because. Obviously, no matter what he does, people are going to compare him to Kendrick now. I'm, I will say this. I am very sick and tired of the stands from the beef ruining the reviews. Yeah. And like people got to remember beef aside, the beef in a whole is a very small aspect of these guys' careers. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like respect the, the fucking art, man. Respect the art and the music. Like. He gave us his soul, like some serious songs, some his soul. He put his art, like his pen, like some solid bars, man, reflecting on life and all that shit. And then it's like you have people online that no matter how good this song is or how good the album is, no, nah, it doesn't beat Drake. Y'all really can say Drake is uh, shittier than this guy. Like, man, like just respect the fact that there's good music out there right now, man. I see people saying like Kendrick's songs were fire, but he just needed Drake on the hooks. Yeah, <laughs> man, like. It just the one thing I will say after hearing this album, Drake and uh, and Kendrick, there's no more making up. That that's oh, over. No. Kendrick is done. He does not want any part of piecing with anyone. Yeah. I think he's literally like it's fuck everybody and it's just me. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. If you're with me, you're with me. If you're not, and, go fuck and, yourself. And he's been on that tip for a while now. So yeah. and, and but he, he proved a point. 
Now this album was the exclamation mark. Like, and, and I think you know now that you mention it, maybe that's probably why he didn't have like any big name features. Yeah, a lot of West Coast features, and which is imagine being on the new. Imagine like having the one of the biggest beefs in in rap history in the late like the last like ten years, whatever you want to call it, and then getting a Kendrick surprise album and you being one of the features. Yeah. That is a huge career booster, man. Because like, everybody's checking for it. Your every, first project yeah. after the beef, everybody's checking for it. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but overall, I guess we're both on the same page for uh, for most of it. A couple yeah. of songs I think we have our own opinions about. I don't. I wouldn't say every single song of the album is a banger 10 out of 10. But I think it's one of the better albums of his that I like. And I liked it. He kept it short. It's not like a bunch of failures. not... I Double album. That. I respect that. Yeah, not 40 44 songs. 44 minutes. Yeah. His last right album. to the to point, Pimpa, man. Or not the last, but the, uh, To Pimp a Butterfly was like an hour and 15, hour and a half. Some, uh, I like the shorter albums. Me I'm too. starting to understand that I I just don't want to be there for like an hour and a half. Yeah, I've minutes. never been that type, yeah. Um, so, that brings us to our next part here. Um, I think it's safe to say that we both fuck with the Kendrick album. Check it out. Give it a listen. Must listen if you Must have listen. Yes. You gotta go out your Must way and check listen. it out. Must um, listen. But I, a couple of weeks ago, we played a game where it was, you play the note and I got to guess a song. And you know what? I want to see how good Homie is with that game. So bring it to you now. It's one note of you. So I'm going to play three songs. I got a bonus song. I'm going to play the quick note. Don't look at my laptop. And... Uh, we're going to get going. All right. I'm going to play uh, just a sample, like a quick just a thing so you can tell me if you hear it in your headphones. Yeah. You heard that? Okay, cool. So we are good to go. Are you ready, my friend? Yes. All right. Track one. All right. What is that song? Like that. Yes. You are right. That's too iconic. Like, that's too iconic. Exactly. That's crazy. Like already, it's iconic. Already. Yeah. Like the, actually, that's a good little tie-in. I kind of fucked up the whole game. <laughs> that one song led to all the shit spiraling out yeah, of control. Exactly. All right. Ready? Song number two. Oh yeah. yeah. Me and my out to get it, you bitch. That's a uh, money trees. Yes, sir. Uh, Bonus point. Who's uh, who's a feature on there? J Rock. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. This I guy's like that. I like this, that. this guy's killing it. This guy's killing it. All right. Uh, so he's two for two, and here's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know if he knows or if he doesn't know. I'm a little confused. No, no, I, I started for the box. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. He I like how you just throw in a little drink. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, man. We got to give him a little shot. Like, I'm, I'm still a drink fan at the end of the day, man. Like, I, I still fuck with drink. I was surprised. Yeah. You know what? But all the songs you picked, I didn't think that. I never thought to put them in the one note category, but yeah, they, they all work. It's, dude, I, the second you hear that song, I'm just yeah. like, boom, like you get rowdy. And I'll give you a bonus question. Sure, let's um, see. This is not going to be a one note. This is just going to be a quick little snippet. Okay. But it's it'll show the iconicity. I don't even know <laughs> that's a word, but it'll show you the iconicity of this of this song. Ready? I want to rock. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Michael Jackson. Yes, sir. Wow. That was good. Hey, I never thought about that either. Damn. I, I came across a TikTok from the drummer wow. who played it. Quincy Jones, rest in peace, Quincy Jones. Uh, Quincy Jones pretty much went up to this guy and he's like, "Listen, uh, we we have this song. We need the most iconic, memorable uh, drum roll, drum intro that you've ever done. It, it, like people need to remember this for decades." And he's like, "All right, cool, I got it." And he was from the army, so he knew a lot wow. of drum rolls. And he just do 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 do, and they hit record. That's it, done. Right now, now look, like that's great. Wow, I never, yeah, I I never would even put that in the category either. Damn, exactly. those are some good vines. For the rest of your life, you will always know that song. But uh, that wraps up this episode. Um, Kendrick, check it out. Uh, GNX. There you go. There you have it. Grand National. We out. Peace. Oh.